Welcome to this introduction to microchip simulation software for 10Base T1S networks called T1S Sim. The purpose of this tool is to simulate Ethernet traffic based either on an existing AutoSAR message catalog or based on manually added messages to see if bandwidth and jitter in a simulated 10Base T1S network will meet the requirements. Let us start by importing an existing AutoSAR message catalog and as you can see, this catalog contains several CAN, LIN and FlexRay clusters. So let me select the CAN04 cluster, which uh, consists of 9 devices and we can also see the messages which are defined for the individual ECUs. Before we add these message definitions to our simulation, we should ensure a randomized start time for all the messages Otherwise, the simulation algorithm would send them all at the same time, which is not the case in reality, of course. Now we can simply press the Add Cluster button, and here we have all the Ethernet frames which have been generated by T1S Sim. Each line in this window represents one Ethernet message and corresponds to one of the messages from our catalog. We can see the node which is sending the name of the message, its randomized start offset and cycle times. One can also specify how long the time range of the simulation should be. In our case the tool suggests uh, 1025 milliseconds. On the Ethernet Frames tab you can manually add and delete messages and modify existing messages if this is needed. Switching to the Nodes tab you can alter the PLCA node IDs of your devices and on your Network tab you can set some general PLCA parameters like the TO timer. Finally, just press the Run button to start the simulation. Now on the Results tab we go to the Summary page where we can see how often a particular message has been sent within the simulation and what its cycle time is according to the AutoSAR catalog. Jitter is calculated as the difference between the theoretically expected and the actual sending time for each message. The summary lists the maximum and average jitter values in milliseconds, but also in relation to the cycle time. So here, for example, the 0.03 milliseconds of max jitter for this message corresponds to 0.07% of its cycle time of 50 milliseconds. Here in this example, all jitter values are clearly below 1% of the cycle times, which can be regarded as quite well. Let's have a closer look into the graphical representation and the log details of the simulation. Each transmit opportunity of the simulated system corresponds to one line, showing the actual start time of the TO, its duration as well as its jitter. On the left side there is one track for each network node, showing a colored block for each message over time. By dragging a rectangle one can zoom in. A double click somewhere on the graphic will bring you back to the full time interval. This way it is very simple to analyze in detail the sequence of network events such as beacons, messages and even PLCA commands, but also to get an intuitive overview. If you click on one of the message blocks, the cursor will jump to the corresponding message in the log. This also works the other way around, that is when you select any message listed in the log the timeline in the graphic jumps to the corresponding message in the graphic. In summary, T1S SIM can be used to simulate bandwidth usage and jitter performance when migrating CAN or FlexRay based systems to 10 based T1S or when a new message catalog has been built up manually in the tool. Furthermore, T1S SIM supports a command line mode for automated simulations.